what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel well i'm at the pleasanton pioneer cemetery located here in pleasanton california this cemetery has some founding fathers of the city of pleasanton buried within like i said these are pioneers they came from far and away they came from places such as spain ireland germany austria etc so we're going to explore this cemetery and check it out right next door straight across over there is saint augustine cemetery these two cemeteries um pleasanton pioneer and saint augustine's they're adjoining cemeteries but they are separate entities so we will go check probably saint augustine's out on a separate video but uh let's uh go check it out Upon entering the cemetery, there's a board, a little bit about the Pioneer Cemetery history. Um, it has various pictures from various time periods and everything. Here's one, uh, a bird's eye view of the cemetery taken from the east in 1961. Uh, we got some different pictures of like rural Pre Pleasanton. There was a blacksmith shop in 1868. Just different things about the cemetery. And here are the Pioneers of Cemetery the cemetery here well the pioneer excuse me the pioneers of Pleasanton uh, they were founding families like the Bernals the Neals the Roses and um, you're gonna probably see some of these names on stones as we go through the cemetery J.A. Rose 1850 to 1894 and there's a, a Joshua Neal 1825 to 1887 very interesting little board here And they also honor the veterans here as well. So we'll go check that out too. And here's the veterans area right here. Beautiful monument. This area here is just gorgeous. They have the different flags flying. It's an awesome sculpture here. Here they got a different stones. Here are the art workers for the army. It's the Marines. And this one's for the Navy. Says, let us strive on to finish the work we are in to bind up the nation's wounds to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations abraham lincoln the quote from him and then it says the bottom a quiet place of visit and pay respect an homage to those who have served. And here's one for the Air Force. The Coast Guard. And even the Merchant Marines. Found a little group of mausoleums over here. Like family uh, mausoleums. And 
There's one for the Casterson family. Amazing. They don't even have a door. They just have it sealed up with a with a stone. This is it's pretty awesome. I like how the design of it. You got a Rasmus Casterson. December 7th, 1843 to December 6th, 1909. You got a Caroline. June 25th, 1850 to September 3rd, 1942. There's a Clarence. November 24th, 1879 to March 2nd, 1902. William. June 5th, 1874 to March 21st, 1910. There's a Laura. October 1st, 1877 to January 17th, 1944. And there's an Edna on the bottom, March 6th, 1891 to October 4th, 1972. So she lived a, yeah, a few weeks past my birth. Very interesting. Uh, it's just all sealed up here with this beautiful stone. I wonder if this was, I don't know if this was an original because it looks kind of clean and kind of nice compared to the rest. It might have been a door on it before. Who knows? Beautiful. As I'm walking around over here, I'm seeing, you know, of course, time has taken its toll. Like, you know, I see a lot of these cement covered areas here that have sunk in, crumbled and sunk in, unfortunately. The oh, wow, The Schween family right here. We got Ernest, eighteen thirty one to nineteen ten, a Meta, eighteen thirty nine to nineteen eleven. There's another Ernest. 1867 to 1877 August 1875 to 1900 a Louise 1882 to 1953 and John 1881 to 1954 again sealed up I think and these might have been vandalized and they've added these just to sh sh shut the um, to close it up because it looks so new compared to the rest of it So moving on from the Schween family, there's one around the corner over here as well. Oh, it's, it's still part of the Schween family. Another one, W.F. Schween. Okay, this family had the, uh, had got this whole section over here. There's a, a Wilda. June 23rd, 1906 to August 9th, 1910, a William, 1865, a July 11th, July 15th, 8, 1939, a Lena, August 6th, 1875 to February 8th, 1967, a Lois, February 4th, 1903 to June 27th, 1978. This is beautiful. Very interesting. top of this archway ahead it says across the top potter's field it's kind of funny because when i've been in other cemeteries where there's been a potter's field you kind of have to search for it they don't just mark it like that in here well actually let me see what this says i'm thinking it's right in here the potter's field 
because on the signs over here on the sign it has Old County Potter's Field and it's going that way the, the direction I was just facing so I do believe this is the old Potter's Field over here I don't really see any stones or anything I see a couple of things out here. I don't I gotta watch where I'm stepping because I'm not even sure, you know, what I'm stepping on out here. Like a I don't know for sure on this one, but yep. Seeing some uh, storm damage in here as well from our past storms and everything Let's see here it's amazing right over this fence there's houses could you imagine looking out your bedroom window or your bathroom window overlooking a cemetery like here's some storm damage right here Blakeney is the family and look at it just kind of underwater here looks like it's there's board looks like it's sinking in over there that's sad September 2nd, 1901 to June 8th, 1980. I found a really old looking area over here. Some of these graves are hidden behind these bushes off off of the main road here in the cemetery. But look at this one. Just wood falling apart. Can't there's not I can't even see a name on it. The there's a cross, looks like it came apart, unfortunately. But these graves are back here. This little was a baby. Francis S. Ramallo, 1897. Wow, this is amazing here. This is, uh, like I said, it's hidden behind these bushes here. See the name on that all the way. Daisy Worgy Worgy died February 26, 1903, aged seven years. There's a child's grave. Amazing finds back here behind these bushes. Looks like I'm walking into some water area. I gotta watch where I'm walking. This whole center section seems kind of soft in here. Wow, this is amazing. What well, the ground seems pretty saturated right here. John F. Dordery, California, private first class, 151, I think, machine gun. World War One, July 10th. 1889 November 13th, 1968. 68. 
Everett Epcot, Washington, Private First Class General, Haas 25, World War One, August 10th, 1891 to April 15th, 1969. And there's a sticker on it that says U.S. Veteran. Wow. It kind of makes me sad back here. There's a, a cement cross. Get this is a grave as well. Step around. There's, there's. Look at this. There's a, a stone. God bless our baby boy, Justin Edward Pendergast, Pendergast May fourth to the eighteenth, nineteen eighty. Uh, underneath all this brush, this this high grass here, this grass that's getting high. I know all these rains we've had. We're getting a bunch of grass in here. I gotta watch where I'm walking. There's a, are they a Kino family. There's a different people here. 2016, 1996. I've seen some, you know, pretty recent dates in this one. Let's see, this is amazing flowers here I don't know what I'm trying I'm trying to look where I'm stepping just in case here ground seems kind of soft in here look at this area there's a stone in there this whole fence area is coming down See a stone in there up by the top of the gate there. Let's see if I can see the name on it. Beloved Father Anthony Medina, 1900. Is I can see the, the birth date, but it's April something. I can't tell. Wow. These are uh, some forgotten graves back in here. I'm surprised they don't trim this back more, make more, make it more accessible. I found this. This is beloved mother, Manuela. Madrid, February 2nd, 1906 to January 13th, 1950. And there's an Antonio father, June 13th, 1880 to September 25th, 1955. Look at this. There's an urn here as well that somebody had just put here. That's interesting. Very interesting. Looks like it could be cemented down to the base. They attached it, it looks like. Wow. So this, this area back here is amazing. Really wasn't expecting to find this section here today, back here. There's a grave here. Wow, I can't, it's got a little frame with the names in it. There's not even a whole stone here, but I can't even read that. It's really, really faded. This looks like it could be another grave as well, but some of these are kind of primitive, like, you know, the rocks around them and, you know, pretty old. This is a beautiful cemetery, but this part back here, wow, you know? Yeah, look at this. Amazing. Trying to watch the high grass here, I don't want to know. 
this one's so old, I can't even read the name on it. There's a crucifix attached to it. That's all I could see. Interesting to see how, how long some of these individuals have been back here. Uh, I think another child, Petra Madrid, January 18th to October 7th, 1939, from Brother Louie. Bundio Alvarez, Alvidrez, 1864 to 1948 right here. This person's been back here for quite a while as well. But we're still getting flowers back here. Loving father. Let's get back out onto the main path here and check out the rest of this cemetery. Amazing, on the way out of here, there's another one. So the ground here is pretty saturated because I'm stepping on some spots out here where I'm like, whoa, when I step into it. These rains, man, have not done the, the ground out here any favors. So I always got to be careful and mindful of where I'm stepping here. This is the Sanborn family. Look at some of these top stones here. James. Born November 16th, 1807. Died August 16th, 1896. Native of New York. So it looks like Nancy, born May 28th, 1822. Died July 9th, 1903. Native of New York. John, born December 3rd, 1825, died April 7th, 1908, native of Vermont, I think. And I guess there is a stone here added after the fact, and it basically has, you know, the, the stuff I just read off those main stones, I guess, at some point the family added a stone here again with the rest of um, the information. That's more legible because those those white stones, it's hard to see it if the sun is hitting it directly. You have Vermont there. Look at this little stone here. Armida D. Lane, wife of E.H. French, died March 24th, 1876 in her 50th year. The stone looks good. Look at this one with the little iron fence around it. I love these little ones where the gate is still intact. So beautiful. Silva is the last name. MS, born in Western Islands, 1847, died September 18th, 1893, aged 46 years. Rest in peace. I think this stone might have been redone. It looks really good, really new. Unless it got a good cleaning or something, but yeah. Now this section, it looks like it's a little bit more manicured. A little bit nicer up here, closer to the front gate and all. Dewar, Dwyer. Charles, born August 9th, 1824, died January 10th, 1900. Beloved, beloved one, farewell.
I love how they have the uh, the tile here too. We've well, we've discussed this before. Uh, a lot of us love this kind of tile too on these some of these uh, areas, these graves. Some of it's broken, you find, and something like this is still intact. Interesting area. Another one area over here with a old iron gate around it. Ground is getting squishy again, gotta watch out. Ah, Pioneer family. It says on the main stone. Look at this. Where does this main stone say? Heritage. Jacob Schneider arrived in Pleasant from Alsfeld, Germany. In 1888, he married Mary Jane Graham from Drumquin, Ireland. In 1891, they had six children. Silvio arrived in San Francisco from Bioglio, Italy. In 1889, he married Iwenia Regis from Bioglio, Italy. In 1888, they had three children. <coughs> And there's the family um, area here. On the side it says, time is precious. It's precious. Spend it wisely. This is a cool stone. In the end, all there is love. And no truer words have ever been put. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Be kind, yes, I agree with that. I agree with that be kind one on that side of the stone. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Unfortunately, in the world, there aren't people who are, are, are not a whole lot of people who are kind. There are a lot of kind people in the world, but then there's another good chunk of people who just aren't kind, you know? And that's unfortunate, you know? But what are you going to do, right? Here is the Gilson family. Fred Dom died September 15th, 1881, aged 77 years, 10 months, 12 days, a native of Vermont. There's a main stone up here. This was a veteran as well. See that sticker, U.S. veteran. George, born in Rockingham, Vermont, January 14th, 1940, died in Pleasanton, California, April 12th, 1898. I do believe this stone is really old. There's Mary Edson Gilson, born in Rockingham, Vermont. Eight, February 4th, 1814, died in Pleasanton, California, November 23rd, 1899. The inscription is kind of hard to read on that one. Here is the Rose family. Remember from the board from the beginning of the video, the history board on the inside of the gate here? The Rose family was one of the founding families. We got a Dorothy, January 9th, 1914, and March 13th, 1971, loving mother and grandmother. We got a Joe M, August 29th, 1886, to February 24th, 1955, loving husband. And probably, I think it's one of the, probably one of the children, Franklin 
Joseph Franklin Rose, November 4th, 1940 to February 8th, 2012. Beloved son and reverend. Here is the Neal family. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Neal family was another family as well. That was one of the founding father fam type families. Joshua born in New Hampshire, October 14th, 18, I'm sorry. I think it's 1827, died October 4th. 14th on his birthday, 1887. You know what I'm finding in this cemetery? A lot of people either died on their birthday or right after their birthday of the years they died. Really, really strange. Got a Letta or Alita, wife of W. Harris. It's kind of hard to make out. 1864 to 1909. Marie, wife of Homer Morris, daughter of J.A. Neal, born in Pleasanton, February 19th, 1863, died October 21st, 1921. I think I found a couple, like I said, a couple stones where people died right around their birthday, right before or right after. It's really weird. It's a Harris family over here. In the same plot here, part of the family, I'm sure. William Harris, 1825, 1910. Matilda, 1839 to 1908. Wow. Is this one? Greta. See, Gale, born January 17th, 1861. Died September 8th, 1891. Amazing. And they got a little... This is for Greta. Greta as well. They call these a uh, footstone, I do believe. Don't they call it a footstone? And then it just has her initial and initials and last name carved into it. And then her name on the top. That's interesting. Here we got Joseph Goss. Died June 28, 1932. And you can see this is starting to cave in. Hans P. Bond, April 20th, 1863 to November 12th, 1947. It's not a very big cemetery, but it's packed. I'd go over there more, but it looks like they're digging a grave over there and also trimming down some damaged trees. So I don't want to get in the way over there. But for the most part, the most interesting stuff I think we found here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Never been to this cemetery before. This was a first for me. I just kind of came across it on a Google search the other day. Thought it looked interesting. We're going to go behind me over here next door to St. Augustine Cemetery. Like I said, they're adjoining cemeteries, but they're separate. They're considered separate entities. So we're going to go over there and probably do another bit of exploring and another video. Um, when I was walking close to the borderline here of this cemetery, I saw some interesting stuff over there. So we're going to go check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all my future uploads, guys. Once again, it was a pleasure. And um, I'll be talking to you soon. Peace out.